hello everyone welcome to this new video tutorial we're going to see right now mouse events what are mouse events for example here we have our window mouse event is when you click for example on the window or you're moving the mouse on the window and you detect the position where the mouse is and what the mouse is doing why are these useful for example let's say that we want to detect my beautiful phone uh, so we want to draw a rectangle on the phone on real time we cannot do that like typing the code before as we don't know the position of the phone so in real time we can click here on the mouse uh, on the top left of the phone then on the top right we can draw a rectangle for example and track the movement of the phone or for example in perspective transformation we need to detect four points to change the perspective so we need to click four points and then the OpenCV will apply the perspective transformation and so on so it it's really important to use mouse events so let's start doing that we import cv2 we import numpy as np we load the camera cv2.video capture zero we start the loop while true underscore frame is equals to cap dot read so we're we're reading the frame from the camera and now we're going to show the frame cv2 dot in show frame so uh, let's do better this way frame and frame a key event if we want to stop the loop cv2 dot in dot wait key one if key is equals to 27 which is the s key on the keyboard then we are going to break the loop we release the camera cap dot release and we destroy all the windows see to dot destroy all windows let's see if it's all correct it is as we can start the video so now we can create mouse callback so what do we need to do we need to create a mouse callback for this window so for the frame window so it is cv2 dot set mouse call back we need to pass two parameters first one is the name of the window which is frame and make sure that the window is the same this one frame and this one must be frame or any other name but must be the same and the function that we want to call so in this case I'm going to say mouse drawing also as we are loading usually the we are creating the window on the while loop so usually the window is created here when the first frame comes and but here we are calling the window before creating it so in this case we need to do something like this cv2 dot named window frame so we create the window we apply this callback function on the same window and then on this window we're going to to show our frame our frames because it's real time so it will be on the loop there, are, there will be many frames per second <clears throat> okay now we need to create the function and um, let's put it at the fair at the beginning def is equals to mouse underscore drawing and you need to pass a few parameters one is event x and y x and y are is the position where the mouse is on the screen where the function is called and then flags and params which we're not going to use 
So let's see how it works. Print event. No, nothing is happening. But look, when I move the mouse on the window, we see here it's printing zeros. It started to detect the events. So each time I move the mouse, it prints zero. If I click with the left button, you can see different number, four, seven, one. If I click with the right, five. If I move the mouse wheel, 10. If I press the wheel, three and six. So here we have many different types of events. And we can, now I show you an example how it works that when you move the mouse something happens but of course we need to choose some event to do something so for example we can say if event is equals to cv2 dot event underscore l button down which means when you click the left button of the the mouse we print uh, left click and also we print the position x and y so nothing happens I click once and you see left click and the position I change the position on the screen and you see that the number are different 6 2 because we're all we are almost close to 0 0 2 2 okay and you can do the same for other events. For example, if event is equal to cv2 dot event, let's say L button double click. So double click on the of the left button will be print the the uh, I cannot type to the double click print x and y so one click and double click you see double click okay now let's say that we want to draw a circle when on the point where we click things get a little bit more complicated so let's draw the circle when we click the left the left button so see to dot circle on the frame the center point will be x and y the radius 5 pixels color let's make it red so zero blue zero green and 255 red and a thickness minus one which means that the circle will be filled with all the color let's run the code you see I click but we don't see any circle and here is the problem so we are working always on the while loop We read the frame from the camera, we show the frame, we detect events. So this is the function which detects all the events. Also this button, button uh, mouse events. So here we detect the events, we are drawing right now, right here, the circle. The circle is... is so we're going again back to the loop we change the frame and we are going to show the frame so we draw the circle but, but then we get new frame and the circle will be cancelled because it's new frame so for example if we show the frame right after the key event we can see something you see the circle appears and really fast leaves let's make it bigger so you can see it better let's say 25 pixels of radius you see it counts but it goes really fast 
good we show the circle and then we get again a new frame and the circle is cancelled let's put this again back to normal position so how can we solve this problem we can solve this problem by storing all the positions in a variable that will be called each time so for example we will have let's say an array sorry not a variable an array circle circles is equals to empty array and here instead of drawing the circle which is pointless as it going to disappear we are going to simply say circles dot append x and y so when we we just put the position on this array and then here we will say what to do with that position and we want to draw the circles so if circles actually there is no need to say if for for let's say center position in circles we print let's for the moment print just the center position in circles so in each in each loop we are printing the position now there is nothing because it's empty but when i click you see i added this value then the more i click the more values i'm adding And this, this value, so from this array, each time we're going to draw the circle on the frame. So it will be cv2.circle on the frame. The center will be center position. Radius, let's make it only five pixels. Color, let's make it red again. And thickness, minus one. Why is it black? Uh, wait. Ah, five. 255. Now you see we are storing the circles in the array and we have all the time all of them. You can play with this this way. You can add some function, for example. Not function, like some event some key event with the keyboard so if uh, let's say elif key is equals to ord ord mm, let's say d so this is this way it means we are take when we press the letter d on the keyboard let's say d stands for delete and we're going to delete all the circles so it will be circles just as this empty and i make a lot of circles i press d and we cancel them again press d you see okay And this is for circles and I'm going to save this just for you so I will put it in a note and then I will put it on the website and now I'm going to change it like what for example if we want to to use mouse events to draw rectangle for example for example as I said before we want to select the phone like a rectangle right Mm. let's close this one so let's delete the things that we don't need anymore this key event to delete the circle we don't need it anymore we don't need to draw the circles we don't need this one and this one so what for rectangle 
we know that rectangle has two points so first one is point one is for the moment it's empty because we don't know yet the point and second one is point two I mean uh, we know that the rectangle has two points on OpenCV when we want to draw a rectangle we need to define the top left point and right bottom so for example if I want to draw a rectangle to again to select my beautiful phone first we select first point top left and second point right bottom and then we will have the rectangle so when we click the left button we will have the first point point one is equals to x and y and here we need to do something which is make point global because from the function you cannot change a variable outside of the function unless you make it global so it will be global point one point two and elif event is equals to cv2 dot event mouse move and in this case with the mouse move we're going to detect the second point point two equals to x and y now there is a problem we detect the first point only when we click but we're going always to see the second point because it will be always the mouse move event mouse mouse move x and y so as you see even if now we don't want to do the rectangle for example because we haven't clicked yet but the mouse move function is detecting the position how to solve this problem we can solve it really easy, easily creating a switch button we will call this switch button drawing equals false so simply we will say to the mouse move event to detect the event to change the point only if the drawing function is active so if drawing is true then we're going to change the point too if not we're not going to do anything and so we're going to say when we click the left button of the mouse the drawing function will be active so in this case drawing will be equals to true and as we did before here we get an error because the variable is not global so we need to make it global no <laughs> what drawing <laughs> okay yeah now it's global everything is right the only missing thing is now that we need to draw the rectangle so as i said we need two points and we can do this easily if point one and point two then we draw the rectangle cv2.rectangle on the frame point first point is point one second point is point two the color 0 255 and 0 and that's enough I click we're drawing the rectangle I click again and you see it doesn't close the rectangle so we've done something we can see the rectangle even if I don't move the mouse we have the rectangle which is a good thing and now I need to say okay now I'm drawing the rectangle now I click again and that's what I want so 
we need to say if the drawing function is active so let's let's disable let's disable the drawing function so if drawing is false then we enable the drawing and we detect the first point else if it's true we disable it drawing equal false so that we when we move the mouse it doesn't change the second point anymore so when we click will be the last time the second point is changed and we will have a stable rectangle I take the phone I want to draw a rectangle where there is the phone and that's it of course now nothing happens but in the future we are going to do some work for example we select the phone and then the algorithm will follow the phone and will track the movement of the object but the, the purpose of today was only to understand how mouse events war, work i hope this was easy and good explain and see you in the next video thanks for watching